Hello YouTube friends, today I have a kitchen clean and declutter with me video. So if you would like to watch how I clean and declutter my kitchen, then keep on watching. While my husband is making some bread on the other side of the kitchen, I am just going to work on the dining room first. So I cleared the table and I am going to wipe it down and I am going to set our Christmas table or centerpiece. So this table is going to be really simple because we're not even going to be here for Christmas. The greeneries are from a random tree at the park. We went walking the other day and my sister and I decided to clip some greeneries to decorate the table. Those red berries are from my front yard and I actually added some fake um, picks right here. I put it at the end to give it like a texture on the ends. I got those from Joann's. I actually got a garland with like flockings that I was planning to use on this table but the flocking made a big mess on the table. And then I placed the candlesticks at the center of the display and I might get real candles one of these days. Right now these battery operated ones will do. They were from Dollar Tree. Now that the table is ready, it's time to vacuum the floors. I told you the flockings from the garland I bought from Joann's made a big mess. And plus the pines also made some mess on the floor. They're very spiky and prickly so I decided to vacuum it. And then I move all my fall decoration in the laundry room and you should see what it looks like right now. It's a big mess. I pretty much put all the stuff that I don't want to see in the laundry room. Now that my husband is somewhat done baking, I am going to wash the pots and pans. I will clear the countertop. I will try to put away the spices and everything that we use for cooking earlier. By the way, we haven't changed the blind situation on the sliding door because I realized that the garland is attached to the very top of the blinds and I don't want to move it. Then I am going to transfer this leftover rice in a container so I can wash the pot. It is going to be good for fried rice. I made some kimchi fried rice the other day and they were so good. And this is the most satisfying clip to watch is speed loading the dishwasher. Click like if you agree. Now it's time to wash and scrub the pots and pans. And these are big items. I don't usually put pots and pans in the dishwasher. And plus the dishwasher is already full. So I'm going to hand wash these. And this is how I wash a stainless steel pan. I made some grilled cheese sandwich earlier and I burnt it. So I put a good amount of baking powder in the pan to moisten it a little bit. And then I'm going to scrub it using this pot scrubber from Scotch Bright. I just scrub it in circular motion and I'm just going to scrub away and not too much just enough to scrub off the burnt food on the pan also scrub the outside of the pan because there are burnt oil that sometimes it discolor the pan so i use that on the outside as well and then i rinse it with warm water it will look new again if i really want to i can also scrub the bottom of the pan like the underside of it but I didn't feel like doing that. It looks super shiny and I apologize if I almost blind you. Now I'm going to speed clean the rest of the stuff that are on the counter. Hey you guys, thank you so much for supporting my cleaning videos. You guys love watching my cleaning videos so I am making some more. Now I'm going to vacuum this side of the kitchen. 
also going to vacuum this side this has a lot of food boogers laying on the floor my kids are messy eaters after that i am going to clean the countertop using this um, cleaner for granite so i'm just going to wipe it down to make it shiny and smelling nice now i am transferring whatever it's in that bowl in the catch-all drawer Now it's time to wipe dry all the stuff that I just washed earlier. I'm going to wipe it down with, with a clean towel and I am going to put them away. Okay guys, it looks nice and clean. So that's how I clean stainless steel pan. By the way, this is not slow motion. I move like that in real life. I am like a sloth. I also walk very quiet and sometimes I tend to startle people around me because all of a sudden I'm right behind them. Now I am going to clean this side of the kitchen. I'm just going to wipe it down and I am using the same cleaner that I was using earlier and by the way, the brand is Method. I will save the stove for last just because just in case I get tired in the middle of this cleaning process at least my work is not half done it's time to go through the cabinets to declutter the items that I never use so like these boxes or lunch boxes that my kids doesn't want to use and plus they take a lot of space and these souvenir juice cups from um, rainforest I believe rainforest cafe those are a pain to wash that's why I hid them up here so the kids will not remember to use them so I'm basically just going through this cabinet looking for stuff that we never use in a long time going through this drawer because there's one item here this spatula that I absolutely hate that's gonna go in the donation and then I look up here I thought I'm going to find a lot of stuff I only got like three items there that we never use like the cake pan in a horse face shape I never use it and plus I don't bake I gave the microwave a quick wipe down using a wet towel with warm soapy water. I am going to do the same thing on the stove. I usually use a cleaner but there is a bread rising in the oven and I don't want to use any chemical when there is food in the oven. That's why I decided to use a warm soapy water instead. I'm just going to wipe it down thoroughly this is also the reason why I like to save the stove for last because it is a tedious task just like scrubbing the grills these type of grills are absolutely a pain to clean but it has to be done before I used to clean the stove every night um, when we used to live in Texas where the grill is not like this, it's different But this one you actually have to be thorough when you are cleaning it. So I can't do it every night I mean I can but I don't want to Now we are almost to the home stretch I am putting away the cleaning products and I'm rinsing the sponges and the towels and I'm also giving the sink a quick rinse then I start the dishwasher. Now the kitchen is nice and clean. I absolutely love the feeling of clean kitchen, clutter-free countertop. I really love the centerpiece for this year. It's very simple. So that's it you guys. I am done cleaning for tonight. It took me a couple of hours to tidy up the kitchen and declutter the two upper cabinets and I'm really pleased with the result. As you can see, the countertop is nice and clear and just nice and clean. I, I like it. It just makes me feel really good. 
and I apologize for the bad lighting today or tonight. I just didn't have the time to set up my lightings and stuff. I just want to get to cleaning because the kitchen is absolutely a mess. There were crumbs all over the floors. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. If you notice, I had been cleaning or posting cleaning videos lately and I'm going to add more cleaning videos in my channel just to kind of spread out my wings a little bit. I um, my channel is like so focused in one thing sewing I also want to reach out to like cleaning community here on YouTube so if you like lifestyle home DIY and you know cleaning videos be sure to subscribe thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time bye